Hello friends, so here I have taken wall, wall putty, uh, any brand is fine. So we are going to make the texture paste. So strain two spoons of the wall putty. To this, I'll be adding Fabricol. Initially, I've added one spoon. And now adding one more spoon. So two spoons of every call for two spoons of putty. And mix it well. You can see I've used a palette knife now. So we, we will need this uh, consistency of the texture paste so that it spreads nicely on the base. So this technique can be done on any uh, project you need, you want. You can use this texture uh, as a texture paste. Very simple and easy. You can add white color to this. So that then you will not have to color the base again. If you are doing decoupage. So here I am adding white color. About one spoon is fine depends on uh, how much uh, uh, whiteness you require on the base accordingly you can add more or less so here I'm adding about one spoon so again then I will not have to apply a base coat You can make this white color uh, also when you are adding the fabricol. It is one and the same thing. And you can see how the texture paste looks after it's applied. Apply a nice thick even uh, coat not even actually it should be a little bit <clears throat> uh, for e first apply it evenly then you can make the textures and uh, the uh, cracked effect which we are going to do on this coaster will be a broken tile effect
And you can see there are textures uh, here and there, so it will give a nice uh, raised effect. Okay, if you don't want the textures, you can make it flat. But this is a technique with some textures and a crack here and there. giving a crack on this so you can give it uh, as you like make it deeper with the help of your palette knife or any sharp object This will give us the broken tile effect. So before it dries up only you have to make it deeper. Once it dries up it will be difficult to give it this shape. So we already have some texture on the background and this cracked effect. sides of the cracks So I've made two more cracks. Okay, and we'll, we let this dry.
So now I'll make uh, the decoupage glue. For this, I've taken a small container, Fevicol, and we'll need water. So two spoons of Fevicol, and one spoon of water. That's it. And mix this well. The fevicol should get very nicely mixed with the water. So we have taken water, half the quantity of the fevicol. Yes. And our decoupage glue is ready. And here you can see I've applied white uh, paint on the base and kept it ready. To this I've applied the coat of the decoupage glue we made. And on this I'm placing the decoupage napkin. I've already separated it from the white layers which are there behind. The extra plies which are there behind I've removed only. This is, this is only the design. The single layer of the decoupage tissue okay here you can see I've applied the homemade Mod Podge and there are no wrinkles at all now this is varnish so just Eight to ten drops of the varnish I've added to this. It's optional. If you wish, you can add or you can leave it without adding the varnish. But it will make it quite sticky. So the coaster has dried up and uh, the base has dried with the texture paste and the cracks. Now I've taken this tissue with a small print of roses on it so without fail remove the extra ply which is there behind there are two plies behind decoupage napkins sometimes uh, there are two extra plies or there is one extra ply and now place it as you wish so here I'm using the decoupage glue that we made So after adding the varnish it becomes very very tacky and gives a very awesome finish. So whichever varnish you have you can add. If you want a glossy uh, Mod Podge you can add uh, glossy effect of the Mod Podge you can add the glossy varnish you have or if you want a matte effect you can add the matte varnish you have okay so here I've added matte varnish so add half a spoon of the varnish here we have added two spoons of uh, fevicol and uh, 
one spoon of water and you can add half spoon of varnish with the same uh, spoon you can measure and add half spoon of varnish so that it you will get a perfect uh, measurement of how much of the varnish glue and water is to be used okay so here i have placed the design on the cuts that we made the broken effect that we have made so this is the broken tile effect and also there are textures so we will get a little bit of uh, texture effect so nicely press with your brush on the textures so that the napkin gets nicely merged into the base so here you can see this is a technique where we can apply the decoupage glue from on the top also and to adhere it to the base. Do not push too much of glue. If you are not confident we have to apply it below the napkin only that is on the base and then place the napkin. So you, before it dries you have to take the a sharp knife or a, any sharp object and just move it on the cuts that we have made on the base Because once if the glue dries, then it will be difficult for us to make these cuts and separate the tissue on the cuts that we have made. So do it very carefully. The napkin should not tear. And leave this to dry. So this is the small piece on which I had done the decoupage without using the varnish in the decoupage glue and it has dried up very nicely. So I'm just removing the extra paper and showing you people how nicely it is stuck. So we have to use 100 grid sandpaper. So the sandpaper is easily available in any hardware stores. So you can place this on any of your project. So the small piece of MDF, MDF is from Craft, Craftily Connect. 
इट इज शॉप बाय जैसमिन सिद्दीकी and this has also dried up using the same sandpaper and removing the extra ply uh, extra tissue which is there on the sides once it has dried you can nicely rub uh, on the edges and remove the extra ply there is no tension of the tissue tearing at all and now i'll apply one coat of the decoupage glue over it so do not apply too much of the decoupage glue a flat even coat a very thin coat is required just to seal it and this is the same decoupage glue which we had made at uh, by using the fabicol water and varnish so it's just awesome you can save money by making it at home and leave this to dry So after this is dried up, I'm applying a coat of varnish over this. This completely dried up, and now one coat of varnish. this to dry so this is the dark brown color and i have taken brown black color if required i'll use the black color so take little of the black color to this very very little of the black color since we are going to give a vintage effect we need black color, a brown a very dark shade of brown color see to it that the color spreads evenly and smoothly or else add a little bit of water to it
since we have applied varnish uh, before doing this technique uh, maximum of the color will come off with a wet wipe See to it that the color goes into the cracks. Before it dries up, we have to finish this technique. And now this is a wet wipe. Actually, the wet wipe is a bit dried up it should have been more wet but now I, uh, I checked that it has uh, dried up that is why the color is not coming out very quickly so take a fresh wet wipe and do this technique so that only the color uh, the color remains only in the cracks and into the textured portion and it looks very very beautiful so i'll just wet this a little bit and try to remove the color So with a thin brush fill in the cracks with the brown color.
if you like black you can use black also Cover the sides of the coaster with black or brown color. So <clears throat> here I have taken sap green color. I already have little bit of brown, so I'm adding the sap green to the brown so that it looks more vintagey. I'm taking this color on the sponge. I'll rub this on the edges of the coaster that we have made. You can use this as a coaster or a fridge magnet. 
let's see how we can enhance it uh, step by step so little bit more of the color on the sponge So adding a little bit more of brown color. So you can distress it this way or you can uh, use a brush and apply the green color and or the brown color on the edges. Okay, so I'll show you that too. So the color should be a little bit watery so that it spreads well and does not smudge anywhere you can see I'm just brush, uh, pre, uh, pressing the brush on the edges so that it just spreads very beautifully there's already color on the edges which we applied with the sponge and I have wet the brush and I'm just pressing it on the edges so that I get this beautiful distressed, distressed look. Took a little bit of the sap green. we are done with this distressing part so let this dry so this is a stencil from iCraft designs uh, it is a website of uh, iCraft Design, iCraftDesign.com. Uh, so you can find this stencil on the website. You can use any stencil you wish. So I've taken black color and a stencil brush. Tap the excess color on a newspaper or on, on a tissue. There should no, not be actually very little color. There should be on the brush. And I'm going to use one word from this stencil. So I'm using the word believe. So you can see I'm tapping the stencil brush 
hold the stencil very tight it should not move and very little color on the stencil brush and you will get a perfect stencil stencil effect on the base And now I wanted a script, some script on the base. So all of uh, you will not be having the scripts uh, stamp. So I have uh, typed something uh, just randomly and uh, got it printed on a sticker sheet. This is a transparent sticker sheet mostly available in all Xerox shops. So you can use this technique if you don't have a stamp stamp you can use a uh, script stamp if you have if you can use a script stencil if you have uh, now only I've showed you how to use the uh, stencil so you can use script stencil it is uh, available with many craft shops or you can check on Amazon Amazon also so what I did is I cut out one line I've already stuck one line uh, on the base you can see here so I liked it very much so you can just cut it into half and uh, I have typed something randomly and I chose a uh, script stamp kind of uh, font So after you stick this, you have to spray it with, with a spray varnish, the Bosni spray varnish so that it gets nicely adhered. Okay, so I liked it very much. So if you don't have the wording stencil like the belief you can do that also with the sticker sheet you can get a big uh, word type or some message type and get it printed on a sticker sheet so i'm planning to stick one more line of the script you can use any running script uh, font of your choice which is available on your laptop or computer just type it and then select and use any font you want and get it printed on a sticker sheet this is a transparent sticker sheet mind it it is not an opaque one you need a transparent one only so that it will look like a stamp if you get it on a white sheet then uh, it won't uh, it will uh, you can anyone can make it make out that you have stuck this sticker sheet so you can see this this is transparent so it looks very beautiful and on this bosni spray varnish is to be sprayed so that you have to do outdoor this is the Bosni clear varnish I'll show it here only so just spray it from a distance cover the entire base and here you can see wear your mask and your glasses when you are doing this keep it outdoor here uh, to show in the video I am using it doing this indoor but it is recommended to do it outdoor and this is the Aquador interior varnish from Asian paints so after the spray varnish has dried uh, you can apply one or two coats if you like the matte effect of the Bosni spray varnish it's okay you don't need to spray this varnish again 
you can see how beautiful it looks so after these two coats of the asian paints varnish i am going to again spray one coat of the bosnian spray varnish so that the sticker sheet gets nicely adhered so after this dries up i'll apply one more coat and then i'll do the spray varnish and then that will be my final coat okay so i've applied one coat and after second coat i'll show you how it looks so here you can see i've uh, painted it black on the back and this is how it looks after the asian paints varnish has dried up and after this i'll do the spray varnish again so this is the final look after i have done the spray varnish one coat of the bosnian varnish i have done 